oh how's your meal is everything okay and you're too busy chewing and you just kind of have to do this awkward like mmm mmm Minasan, konnichiwa, sukushitoke, yokuso. Okay, in today's video, we're going to be comparing the differences between restaurants in Japan and restaurants in the UK. And let me tell you, there's actually quite a few differences, so we'll get into that. Uh, but first of all, just to remind you, if you like videos like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe. And let's begin. Okay, number one tips. I think this is the most obvious difference if you live in Japan or you've been to Japan and you've also been to other countries. I think the most obvious difference is tips. In Japan, you don't tip. Really, ever. I don't think I've been anywhere where you tip. Maybe there was actually one pub in Okinawa that we went to, but it was kind of like a jar at the till. It definitely wasn't like forced upon you which actually sometimes happens in the UK. So there's obviously always the option to tip, but in some restaurants, if you look at your receipt after your meal, they will include a service charge, which is basically a tip without asking you to tip. It's just there. Um, I think in some situations you can dispute this you don't have to pay it. I think I may have done that once. Especially as well, some of these service charges don't go to the actual person that served you. Sometimes they split it between all of the staff and that sucks because if you've had an experience with one server who was really nice, you want them to get the tip. So yeah. I will say, I think about 15 years ago, you wouldn't really tip in the UK either. I think this is largely an American thing that gradually made its way over to the UK. So yeah, that's one of the biggest differences. In Japan, you don't tip. In the UK, you mostly do. Okay, so number two, buzzer for attention. So have you ever been to a restaurant in Japan, and this is not all restaurants, but they'll have a buzzer on the table and you press the button when you want your waiter or server to come over. Yeah, we don't have that in the UK. We need that in the UK because we're kind of indirect. We don't really like to shout for attention or raise our hand or anything like that. It can be a bit awkward to get the attention of your waiter, waitress or server like really awkward. Also, we have another weird situation related to that where you'll get your meal, you'll start eating, and I swear they time this. So when your mouth is full with food, they come over and say, oh, how's your meal? Is everything okay? And you're too busy chewing and you just kind of have to do this awkward like, mm, mm, thing. I don't know why that's a thing in the UK. They need to change it. Although I did have a discussion with my best friend about this. I was like, why don't we have this button system in Japan? It's so convenient. And we decided that I think a lot of people would just abuse it. Like you would get people just pressing it constantly, children playing with it. So I don't think it would work in the UK as well, but yeah. Okay, the next one, number three, water without being asked. I know it sounds weird at first, but in Japan, in most restaurants, when you sit at your table, there's already water there for you to drink. In the UK, that doesn't really happen. You have to ask for it. And if you want it for free, you have to ask for tap water, not mineral water. Um, I can't say whether this always is water from the tap. I really don't know. But there is free water, but you have to ask for it. In Japan, it's already there waiting for you, pretty much, which is great actually. I don't always drink it though, but it's nice to know that I have the option. Okay, next we have number four, bringing food home. So in Japan, you can't bring your food home. So if you have a really big meal and you can't finish all of it, you can't take it home and eat it later. It's not really a thing here. I don't know why. Taro, any thoughts? I don't know, but I think uh, this is for health reasons. Yeah, yeah, like you would have to be responsible. You can't take food home from a restaurant, leave it for two weeks and then eat it, get sick and then blame the restaurant. I get that, you have to take responsibility and I think if you take food home, the restaurant kind of risks their reputation if you complain, yeah, I don't know. But in the UK, you can do this, you can. If you didn't finish all your meal, you can definitely ask to take it home and most restaurants will allow it. 
yeah. Okay, so number five, pictures on the menu. So in the UK, if you go to a good restaurant, there will not be any pictures on the menu. You will literally just have to read the description of the meal and choose it that way. Often pictures on the menu are kind of associated with more cheap restaurants. So maybe like a Pizza Hut or a Domino's or like a takeaway restaurant. Um, definitely not proper restaurants where you sit down and eat your meal. But in Japan, it's completely different. Most restaurants have pictures on the menu and I prefer this. I want to know what my food is gonna look like because there's nothing more disappointing than ordering something on a menu, having this image in your head of what it's gonna look like and then when it reaches your table, you're just disappointed. So yeah, I think this is a good one. I think we need to do this more in the UK. All right, so number six, better food. The food in Japan is just better. I think, yeah, there's literally no other way to explain this. The food in Japan is better simple. You'll go to a restaurant in Japan and most of the time you will not be disappointed. You go to a restaurant in the UK, you might be disappointed. Yeah. I think Japan is one of those places where you can go past any restaurant on the street, walk in and be satisfied. In the UK you can't do that. I always used to check the reviews of restaurants before I went to them. You just kind of have to. You can't just walk into a restaurant in most cases and it be good. No, you've got to put a bit of work in. In Japan, you don't have to do that at all. This kind of brings me into our last one, number seven, and that is cheaper. Japan is just cheaper in terms of eating out at restaurants. The UK is expensive, really. Unless you're gonna get like a kebab or some fish and chips. Even then, sometimes fish and chips can be expensive if you're not going to your local fish and chip cheap place. Yeah, usually it's expensive. We have these weird like in-between restaurants, I guess you can call them family restaurants that you kind of sit in and it's not fast food but it's definitely not like a glamorous restaurant. So we have Nando's. Oh my god I miss Nando's. Again you can't just go to any restaurant in the sh like on the street and it be affordable. Like you really have to put some research in. Uh, but in Japan, yeah, most restaurants are relatively affordable. There's a lot more family-run restaurants here that are affordable as well. So yeah, that's it. So what did you guys think of this list? Do you agree or do you disagree? Are there any other things that maybe I should have mentioned? Uh, yeah, let us know in the comments. And if you like videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.